a fossil ichthyosaur tooth. Save that one from the destruction of the sea. Looks like the root of an ichthyosaur tooth. See later on in the video another ammonite I find in a top stone nodule and here is a backbone of an ichthyosaur. You can see that little backbone I'm snapping out of that soft shale. It's a very nice little find recently but now I'm taking you along the Jurassic coast fossil collecting with me. I'm heading through to the east towards Black Ven and I'll look for fossils there and see what I can find. It's always nice to see this limestone pavement here with this particularly large ammonite you can see the chambers the creature used to fill with water or gas to give its buoyancy in the sea so i'm going to head out it looks pretty sunny out there and a lovely evening to behold in late february the fossil collecting hasn't been particularly good but i'll go and see what i can pick up you can really see the chambers now of the creature when you get out to the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide, look out at the back of the mudslides there. You can see patches of liquefied mud. And here at the toe of the landslide, you can see someone's footprint in that mud. They've gone in. And here is a lead metal printing plate that I found. And the 2008 Lyme Regis landslide froze up some really good finds. I've got quite a little collection of some bits like this. And this one here, I thought I may as well, while I'm out here with it, just try pressing it in to one of my little stratigraphy pieces of paper and see if that makes some lettering come out on the other side. Obviously, if I had some ink, I could show you that plate in action. That would be fun as well. But the 2008 Lime Regis landslide froze up so many oddments. It really is a fascinating place to look every day and see what you can find. So I'm gonna head out at the low tide now, looking for fossils, and just down here, I've spotted a little ammonite preserved in the beef calcite, fibrous calcium carbonate, ammonite biscuits, we call those ones, and you can pick those up all day along here, and they're fun to find. The kids seem to do really well picking those little ammonite biscuits up, and the fibrous calcium carbonate, the beef rock, is quite prevalent along the Jurassic coast. You can see a lot of that, and people mistake it for other things like the backbones of ichthyosaurs and the conal structure it has also makes it look like teeth at times, but it certainly isn't an ichthyosaur tooth or anything like that. As I showed you at the beginning of the film, I found an ichthyosaur tooth and it was a rather nice one. Here's some lead, we don't want that on the beach, so I'll be picking that up and taking that home and recycling that. That will be coming home in my bag. My bag gets quite he heavy with the lead that I find all the way out here. Now, you can see on this big rock, really nice there with the limpets, a lovely ammonite there for all to see. And here, I'm going to show you how to look for crinoid. The crinoid you can find in the mudslides. You won't see it just plainly like that a lot of the time. You're really looking for on the edge, that white sort of lens of the material. So if you see a thin seam, a thin lens of that white material sticking out, then it could be a little plate of the crinoid and that's worth drawing out of the mudslide, washing up with a toothbrush and then getting it home and seeing if you've got those lovely ossicles or even a crinoid cup on your little plate that you find in the mudslides along the Jurassic coast, especially at low tide, you see them on edge like that at times, and it's worth plucking them out, having a wash of them and seeing if they're up to scratch. There's some beautiful pieces that I found that particular way. I'm gonna do a bit of sieving now on the coast, try and sieve in the iron pyrite. Like I've said, the iron pyrite's heavy, the ammonites are heavy, they all get congregated in the same pockets on the beach, and you get them really nice little ammonites that are preserved in the iron pyrite just doing this sieving work. I will have gone through a few sifles to get a good film of one of them coming out of these little patches on the beach. The beast from the east has been in and that particular stretch of very cold weather has been scouring out pockets of iron pyrite on the beach. We've had a lot of easterlies lately 
and that does get into the beach area and scour out pockets of iron pyrite and that's where these perfect little pyrite ammonites come from the patches on the beach where you see iron pyrite that is prevalent and we work in those beach areas where pyrite is with the sieves to find small ammonites right up to sort of two pence piece pro microcerous ammonites and here's one that's been riddled with piddock holes look at this rock you can see an ammonite on the surface and then all the holes in that rock have been made by piddocks they secrete a drilling fluid and then with a sharp beak rock from side to side and bore through those limestone blocks and especially the shale areas along the jurassic coast here is an ammonite fragment very well water worn and down there in the distance you can see golden cap and in the valley you can see charmouth with the heritage center and here amongst the iron pyrite i have found a three pence piece i'm told that is what it is and there with the holes someone suggested to me that those holes were probably made because they made it into a jewelry piece that particular coin so i've picked that up on the 2008 lime regis landslide it's worn out of the mudslide onto the beach and collected in the pyrite so here i am i'm going to turn tail and walk back and get back into lime regis and show you a bit of really good collecting on the 2008 landslide as everyone's gone home now it's a very cold evening the sun has gone down and i'm going to get up and find some bits here i thought i'd spot an ammonite but look what i've picked up you can just see a broken piece of metal there i thought it was the chambers of the creature even a fragment of an ammonite but that's not to be look at this lovely little ammonite in that top stone nodule i'm just sizing that up that should split out really perfectly so stay with me as i knock 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 on the outside of this rock and watch it pop out of the limestone matrix that it's been held within for all those millions of years there it is released and an impression one side the whole ammonite the other side preserved in calcite a beautiful little pro microcerus there and i'm really pleased with that for today's little collecting trip and look at it you can piece it right back together right at the start that's what it looked like almost before i tapped it open i use safety glasses and sturdy gloves normally when i head along the jurassic coast and tap some of the right rocks with my correct geological hammer as i walk around the toe of the mudslide look at that old pillbox base there and then on my way into town you can see mary anning the statue of her and the sun going down there in the distance what a lovely evening it is you can see the sun going down over the cob in the distance i'm going to walk down through towards where the river Lim channels out to sea and you'll be able to see that the weather has been really quite dry because the river Lim has dried up to quite an extent now as you'll see as i pan round in a minute to the river in reality these gifts from the sea are quite hard to find but i made the most of the low tide today fossil collecting so i hope you like this little fossil hunting film i made and if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the film